from in Hollywood. It's the Tom Mikey Show. Oh my God! Oh, here I go! Oh, and now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Nice being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio. Some time back, I told you that uh, in the process of uh, looking for material for this show, some of the places I look are places like Craigslist. Any section of Craigslist, it doesn't matter. It's so over the top. But that's the home of the big fatties and fuglies who all want to be rich, trim guys who... Don't mind a woman with four kids. And who don't expect to get sex for the first 17 dates. Uh, also, um, I like reading the uh, personal ad websites, the online dating like uh, Match.com, Yahoo Personals, Adult Friend Finder, JDate. I'm just fascinated with that stuff. I'm fascinated at how unrealistic people are. And there's something I talked about on the air to you about this. I had an opinion about a practice on, for example, Match.com that I thought was just absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. And uh, we, we did a show about it. I didn't have any statistics to back me up. I didn't have any uh, hard evidence. I just knew that I saw something really ridiculous, and um, I commented on it. That was the show, you may recall, among the things I talked about. I talked about the fact that women on uh, Match.com are encouraged to post pictures of themselves. And many of them, instead of posting pictures of themselves, many of the pictures are of sunsets, or their Christmas tree, or kitty cats and puppy dogs they have, or... Also, if they were single moms, they'd have pictures of their kids with them and their kids. Now, at one point, uh, somebody said, uh, I, I was trying to find out, the topic of the show was I was trying to find out why women put these pictures in their profiles. And then it was explained to me, and, and because I don't use Match.com, so I don't really know how this all works, but what happens is th you can choose to look at all profiles or you can narrow it down to just profiles with photos. And, of course, people want to see profiles with photos, so they check that box. So what happens is women don't want their profile getting skipped over. So instead of putting pictures of their 180-pound frame on there, they would put a picture of a sunset. Or they put an avatar of some kind. Or they, uh, they put a picture of their kitty cat. So there is a photo of something, and then your profile comes up when people are searching profiles that have photos. But then they don't actually have to show themselves. So um, that was very interesting, and it made perfect sense. I said at the time that um, there were profiles, though, where women did have pictures of themselves and pictures of their Christmas tree or sunset or their pets or their house or their children or pictures of them with their children. Like, here's mom's birthday and all four kids are gathered around her. It's like, you know, I'm not looking to, to jump into your family. I'm looking to nail you, okay? Or maybe I'm looking just to watch, if you're Match.com, maybe the kind of person who wants to go out to dinner with somebody, all right? <laughs> but what I'm seeing here is that these women posting these photographs of stuff that somebody who's looking to date a woman really couldn't care less about. 
And then when we were having this conversation, the reason I'm going into this detail is I want you to remember the show, because uh, once I tell you all this, if you were listening, you will remember that I did this show. I, I pointed out that there were especially a large number of women who were posting pictures of their kids. And I said on the air, is that really a good idea, putting your kids on there? Because you never know what kind of a freak is looking at these online dating sites. Why would you want to put pictures of your kids on there? I mean, I, I saw, by the way, I saw some of these uh, profiles. Where the, 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 it's like, here's a picture of mommy and her daughter at the beach last year. Okay, daughter is 14, mommy is 39. And it's entirely possible that some freak would, uh, you know, want to meet mommy to see what else is going on at home, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Now, that was just speculation on my part. I didn't have any information. I hadn't heard any stories. I just saw this in combing through Match.com and Yahoo Personals, and I said, how in the world can people put pictures of their kids on there? How can they do that? Uh, you know, put your own picture on there, okay, but don't put your kids on there. That's a bad idea. Well, look at this story from ABC News. This is from the, the Good Morning America page of the ABC News website, abcnews.com. Here it is. It says here more than 20 million Americans log on to their computers each month looking for love, according to online dating magazine. Oh, yeah, I read it every month. By the way, if you're doing online dating, do you really read magazines? I'm just curious. Online dating magazine. Ten best lies to tell in a profile. You just see the cover of it, you know. How to shrink your body in a photo. <laughs> you ever see some of these photos? You got like they, they, they use like Photoshop to squeeze themselves thinner. Yeah. If you're online dating, it's plenty of good tips on that. Online dating magazine. On your newsstand now. It says here while getting to know a potential mate from the privacy of oh while getting to know a potential mate from the privacy of their own home may be comforting to some, especially single women getting back in the dating pool. It is not without danger. A growing number of sexual predators and pedophiles are taking advantage of online anonymity and using dating sites to prey on single mothers and their children. One single mother who asked that her identity be withheld to protect her daughter had such an experience. I want you to hear this. She met her future husband online, and within six months, the couple were living together. Two years into the relationship, they married. She said, at the time, it just seemed magical. It was the dream come true. But FBI agents said they discovered the man's true intentions when an undercover agent intercepted his emails during an online chat. Special Agent Deborah McCarley of the FBI said these emails indicated, are you listening to this? These emails indicated that he actually married the mother to have access to the child. You idiots. Says here, police said lonely women looking for companionship can be easy targets. In this case, the man took advantage of the mother's vulnerability to get to her six-year-old daughter. The mother, name withheld, said, I think I was really looking for someone to rescue me. <laughs> Although I didn't recognize it at the time. We recognize it on the Tom Likas show every day. The mother said she decided to speak out on Good Morning America to help other women. The woman said she had no idea any abuse was taking place and saw no warning signs until the FBI knocked on her door. Remember, she's been married to the guy two years and suddenly it's FBI, right? She said, that day I felt like somebody stuck a straw in my ear and sucked out my brain. They'd go hungry if they did that, dear. She said, it really just felt like I'd been punched in the stomach. 
by the way, Good Morning America obtained a tape. How'd they get this tape? Is this even legal to make a tape like this? Uh, according to ABC News, Good Morning America obtained a tape that captured the woman's anguish as she confronted her husband on the phone. Now, I don't have the tape, so I have to, like, play both parts here. The woman says, how could you do this to me? And the husband says, how could I do it to anybody? I don't know. And the mother says, how could you do it to her? And the husband says, I'm sorry. I have no answer. And the mother says, I trusted you. And the husband says, I know. You're right. And the mother says, I loved you with all my heart. And the husband said, what I have done is evil, and it's wrong. And there are going to be a lot of people that are going to hate me now, and I don't blame any of them. <laughs> there you go. Little online dating for you, folks. You like that? It says, not only uh, did her now former husband molest her daughter, but he also offered the girl to other pedophiles online. Isn't that nice? Says your authority stepped in just in time. The mother said, I never say that I was going to kill myself, but there's times where I wish that I would die. I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Now the couple have divorced. The ex-husband currently is serving 30 years in prison for his crimes, while his victim continues her, what they call her, health process. Yes. She's awesome, the mother said. She's doing so well. She's got her sense of self-worth back, and I'm so proud of her. This case is just one example of predators using dating sites to supplement their crimes. After conducting online searches and talking to law enforcement officers around the nation, Good Morning America, notice they get their name into the story as often as possible, uncovered cases of dangerous online dating situations all across the country. The research found instances of sex offenders trolling websites and not mentioning their pasts. Yeah, that's great. You've got to put that in your profile. Convicted sex offender would like to meet a nice woman and settle down. <laughs> Who's going to put that in their profile? <laughs> yes. They also never mentioned their profiles, according to Good Morning America. Uh, internet romances that led to beatings and rapes. I wonder if they have a space for that on eHarmony.com. You can stick that in there. Have you ever beaten or raped anyone you've dated online? Yes or no? And felons who never address their convictions in their dating profiles. Oh, yeah. Everybody who places a personal ad puts their uh, criminal record in there, too. Sure they do. Phoenix Police Department Sergeant Andy Hill said once they feel comfortable on that, that their Internet... On that internet, he says. <laughs> that internet. That internet. I think that's the next big thing, that internet. Out there, internet. <laughs> they feel like they're shielded because they're on that computer. By the way, there is no website. <laughs> this sounds like just a lot of fun to be on this website called True.com. Have you heard about this? Yes, the only they call themselves the only major online dating site that runs background screenings on all of its members in order to keep criminals and married people off the site. Oh, boy. This includes filing civil lawsuits against convicted felons and registered sex offenders who lie about their records. True.com CEO Herb Vest said, I'm out to get them and I'm serious as a heart attack. I will get them. I want them off our website. Now, there's a woman named Celeste Moyer. She's the director of Get This, the Safer Online Dating Alliance, or SODA. <laughs> she said that if someone wants to do harm, that person will find a way to do it. People are caught off guard, she said. Even the smartest, savviest online dater. Dater. I love that word, dater. I'm a dater. Mm-hmm. I'm an online dater. Even the smartest, savviest online, smartest, savviest online dater can be a victim of sexual assault. Now, it says states including New Jersey are considering legislation that will require dating sites to clearly disclose whether or not they conduct background screenings on members. Well, of course they don't. Did, did anyone here ever assume that any of these sites performed a background check on anybody? 
So what what is this going to accomplish? Match.com does not perform background screenings on its members. Is that going to stop people from using it? Come on. Then they give you little tips for avoiding these problems. But look, the bottom line is this. You know, um, there, we, the, the, there is so much evidence that women don't understand what makes men tick. There are all of these profiles online with women showing us photographs of their families or pictures of them with their ex-boyfriend or ex-husband. Ever see one of those? Sometimes they crop them out of the shot and sometimes they don't. Like you see a woman, she's, I guess her excuse is she doesn't have a camera or she doesn't have any pictures. So it's a picture of her and some guy. You know, if I were looking to meet somebody, the last thing I want to do is see the last guy you were with. I don't care whether it was hot, not hot, thin, fat. Do I want to see a picture of the you and the last guy you were with? Or five guys ago, or 15 guys ago. I have no interest in that. I don't want to see pictures of your children. This is dating. This is not marriage.com. This is... Not, you know, uh, imprisonment.com. This is, this is just for dating. Okay? Dating equals porking. Why would you put photographs? I mean, I'm sure there's people out there right now who do this. Photographs of people other than you. We want to see good pictures of you looking hot. By the way, uh, you may get responses, but I would say if you don't look hot, why even put photos? And you morons will put photos of sunsets. You know, you're not fooling anybody. We know if there's nothing but a picture of a sunset or a boat sailing away or pictures of a Christmas tree or drawings that your daughter did in school or whatever. Yet we know you're fat and fugly. We know it. Don't think we don't. Don't think you're going to slide by. But what is this all about? I don't understand it. People putting pictures of their kids. I told you this was a bad idea. And now we have evidence again. This is happening. A pedophile see a picture of you and the daughter or you and the son. And they want to get with you so they can get to the kid. Do you really want to advertise your kid on these websites? Are you crazy? Tom, 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 like it. Tom Likas show. I mean, look at it for God's sake. Of course, it's the Tom Likas show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred John. See, I told you so. I told you so again. Oh, a woman puts a picture of herself and her daughter in the ad on one of these online dating services. The guy, quote unquote, falls in love with her, even marries her, <laughs> just to get at her six-year-old daughter that he'd seen on. Her profile on the online dating site. Idiots. Some of these women are just idiots. This is Javier on the Tom Likas Show, who just disappeared at the second I picked up the phone. Uh, this is Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. <laughs> hey, what's going on, bro? Doing a little radio show here. Hey, you got this 110% right. You know, some of us will augment our, our amount of poon that we get by running through some of these adult sites. And it cracks me up when you run across these profiles, these women that put that they're a mother or three. Hey, you know what? I don't want to get with your kids. I want to get with you. Why it's, would anybody? Why would anybody want to see their kids? First of all, just from an advertising point of view, let's say you're a guy who's on one of these websites. You don't mind that the woman has kids. Do you really want to be reminded of what you're going to be paying for down the line? I don't even want to see them. I mean, yeah, I'm going to do their mom. I don't want to see the kids all standing around. Come on. Uh, dude, the worst thing is when you go to some of these sites, some of these women don't tell you. You're in the room, and then next thing you know, somebody's coming home. It's like, what's going on? Oh, that's my teenage daughter or teenage son. It's like, great. Yeah. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> When's your teenage daughter's 18th birthday? I'll be back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just I just don't understand this stuff. Do you ever look at these websites? Have you looked at these online dating sites at all? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I say, that's that's the good way to augment your poon, guys. So you you use them to to get to, to get sex. Yeah, you know, you don't meet a lot of tens, nines or eights, but you will meet a lot of average six to sevens. And some of these girls, yeah, they just want to do the deed and others are kinda of looking for as this woman says, somebody to rescue me. 
<laughs> yeah, ladies, we're all dogs. <laughs> yeah, well, of course. So, uh, now, let me ask you this question. Are there women on these online dating sites who are actually looking to get laid? Because they all have all kinds of verbiage on there about looking for love, looking for long-term relationships, looking for marriage, looking for serious inquiries only. Are they just full of crap? Are they actually looking to get laid? Well, there are some that are actually looking to get laid, and yeah, you do have to go through a pile of crap before you find one. Like I'm saying, it's just something when you're bored, just kind of flip through the profiles, is check out what they have to offer. You talk to them for a little bit. Sometimes they want to see a picture of you. Sometimes you get lucky. They look like what their pictures show. Sometimes you go, uh, I'll be back, and you deck out the back door. You know? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. how much of this have you done? Uh, for about three years, I've done it on and off. Wow. <laughs> and so you do this to supplement the normal chicks that you meet, so you don't just uh, depend on online dating services. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. You know, things sometimes get a little slow, get a little boring. Or sometimes, guys, come on, let's face it, we get a little lazy, don't want to do too much work, the computer's right there. Wow. <laughs> That's, uh, but, yeah. And, and uh, by the way, have you noticed the lies these women tell in these ants? Oh, yeah. Most of them that say that they're a size whatever, they only weigh so much, yeah, multiply that by at least uh, 25%. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty outrageous. Well, but my my favorite is that one. It's it's not a lie, but I mean, it's kind of a misrepresentation. Women who say they love to travel. <laughs> yeah, I love to travel too. Right to their bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. They love to travel, but but they don't put. They, it's like the sentence, like uh, the rest of it got cut off. They love to oh, travel geez. as long as you're paying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When they say exactly. they love to travel, that's a big fat hint. They want you to take them places. And you know, like for. you say, if you stick to that, if you stick to that, you know, forty dollar rule, or you know, you can go someplace with a happy hour, have a few drinks, get the drinks in them as quick as you can. You eat before you get this. All you do is drink. Yeah. I mean, I hey, I love to travel with women too, with women who have a platinum card. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, definitely. Any, any woman who puts the plastic down, I'm in. <laughs> In more ways than one. That well, that but that's the idea. But you see, that's I, I we did a show about travel whore, and there, there there is definitely a breed of travel whore. The women who advertise online that they love to travel. Like, why would a woman want to go uh, travel with you and be in the same room with you? Maybe in the same bed. Yeah. If she hasn't true. even met you, she's like, yeah, love to travel. I mean, I just imagine writing one of these women going, all right, fine, we're going to Vegas this weekend. We're going to Paris. But there's only one bed, one room. And you're it's not, not taking, even worth and, it, man. Right. It's not even worth oh, it. Oh, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't pay. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> That's why you're the man. That's the deal. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Uh, great show, Tom. I always love listening to you. Appreciate the call. I do. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Have you been on these online dating sites? Have you seen women who put, like... Um, of course, yeah, we were talking about the pictures of their uh, uh, their kitty cats, their puppy dogs, pictures of sunsets, pictures of their house, pictures of their boat, but more importantly and stupidly, pictures of their children. What are they thinking? Michael, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Tom, great show. Thank you. Hey, Tom, you know what I think is great? I troll for like 45, 50-year-old ladies. Not because I want to bang them, because they put pictures of their hot 21, 22 year old daughters on there. Go with mom, you know, you play the game right. Hey, you know, your daughter, oh my God, you know, I want to go here, I want to go there. Take your daughter somewhere. You get into the daughter, and then you bang banging some young 23 year old girl, and the mom, you know what? She's so stupid. She shows you all the pictures of her, all the my daughters are. I, I'm sure you've seen them, yeah? Well, the cute mom, uh, you're the older, she's 40, yes. 45. No, I saw, uh, by the way, uh, more than once, I saw, like, mother and daughter, and the daughter was of legal age, but the daughter is this smoking hot 18, 19-year-old yeah. <laughs> in a bikini, yep. and there, there's mom with the fupa hanging out and stuff next to her daughter, and it's like, you know, got, you don't realize what you've just advertised here. <laughs> I had a girl, a lady, she's probably early 50s, send me a picture of her and her, her, her two daughters by the pool. One's a blonde, one's a brunette. Smoking hot, two just smoking dollars. There's old trolls in the middle, but you know what? 
to go and say, hi, hey, how you doing? You know, let's go out and hang out. Let's go to your house and hang out for the weekend. Let's go by the pool on a Saturday, have some drinks. Get the daughters out there, get some booze in them. Make the moms a double that are passed out. <laughs> Take care of the daughters. Have you been doing this? I, I, I did it twice. Uh, I didn't get the baby of the daughters. I was kind of... I don't know, I felt, it's been nice, sad to say, I felt kind of almost guilty, like, here I'm trying to bang this, this, this ding-dong broad's daughter, but, uh, I mean, I see her out a lot when I, you know, I'm through through MySpace when I'm bored, like that other guy said. You get bored, instead of going out, you know, a little supplement to your, uh, to your, you know, your weekends, you want a little Tuesday night action, get out of the internet, and start trolling for it. Um, I didn't actually pull it off, I didn't pull the trigger, but, I, I, twice I've been over there, and twice with the daughters. And so we do the daughters, not uh, that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you talk about Andrea Yates, Andrea yeah. Yates style. You, you guys rock. Take me out, Andrea Yates style. Andrea uh, Yates style. Uh, do, do we not have it? Uh, splashes. 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 It's under splashes. But God forbid we put Andrea Yates in there. V8 style. one 800 800 is our telephone number. Just these stupid, moronic women who post their pictures of their kids online. What is that all about? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Are you beautiful or not? Yes, I'm beautiful. Really? Are you a 9 or a 10? A 9 or a 10? Yeah. Size? No, on a scale of 1 to 10, oh, you idiot. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1 free FM. SoCal's FM talk station. 97.1 is Tom Likas. You know why you're so degraded? Because you got that fork in your mouth, dear. You're going to take the fork out of your mouth. No, a fork out of my mouth. Yeah. I love to eat. I'm heavy. I'm sure I'm you do. I'm all ready to go eat now. You know, folks, we've got a presidential election this year. The top story on headline news was Britney Spears is on lockdown. <laughs> We're all going to hell. We're all going. There's no doubt about it. 97.1 SoCal's FM Talk Station. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Talking about the, uh, the women who put ads online and the pictures of their kids. What are you doing? Alice on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, this is Tom Likas. Oh, did you want to talk to Tom? Yes, I did. On the air, if possible, from uh, a woman's perspective, I'd like to make my point of view. From a woman's perspective, okay. A well, unique woman's perspective. A, a unique woman's perspective. I believe I understand what makes men tick, well, and well, I've well, been you know, youth, and I've been successful. All right, well, we'll find out as soon as I find Tom. Let me look for him right now. The Tom like his show. At 1-800-5800-TOM, Alice, the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. This is Chris. Yes. How are you? I wanted to give you my perspective as a female, a unique female, who truly believes that I have a unique perspective on life, seeing as how I totally understand men. I can even predict them because the majority is pretty much... By the way, is there, there a wind tunnel over there? What is that, a tornado? I just got a strong breeze. I'm elevated on the hill, so I'm getting a nice breeze. I'm not complaining. It's pretty <laughs> Maybe you want to walk inside for a while, have to make this call. I'm sorry? Maybe you'd like to walk indoors to make this call. Oh, okay. Is this better? Much better. Okay. Like I was saying, um, I have a unique perspective that I was able to understand men at the first instance and every experience thereafter realizing that there is a male pattern characteristic behavior that they follow. Really? And what is that? Well, it's, it's generally speaking, of course, it applies to the majority of men who unfortunately are a dime a dozen and lack the common sense mm. that us women have. Uh-huh. But you, you, you know, get, you dare, get to the specifics of uh, how men tick. You were going to tell us. 
Yes. How, how, how much? How much it costs to buy a dozen men has nothing to do with what you're supposed to be talking you about. To, you wanted to avoid stocking. I said, why avoid stocking? What, whoever said stocking is not fun and not okay, as long as you know how to do it. Are you a stalker? I don't stalk. I have fun. I can tell you a story. One of my gentleman friends, and I say one of them, I happen to have an experience where I caught him driving around in the street with a lady passenger friend with him. He was more worried of me seeing him with a lady friend, even though mm. I'm fully honest and fully open with him, letting him know that I have many other gentlemen friends, and I call it a rotation because I require that much attention. And I tell him that I'm honest like this with all my gentlemen friends, and they all come back for more because they appreciate the honesty. The honesty. What do you yeah. look like, by the way? I um, am about 260. Um, beautiful face, curvaceous body, Latina, even though I've been mistaken for a white girl next right? time. Yes. <laughs> but I am beautiful, and I don't Beautiful. And you're two, did you say 206? Wait, 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 did you say 260 pounds? <laughs> five, at, seven. Yeah, five, seven, and 260 pounds. She's a piggy piggy. Small waist, big hips, and I know how to move. And it's the thing that makes me so unique. Dear, unless each at breast is 80 sight, pounds. At first sight, many men don't even give me the time of day and look me over and they look at the blonde bombshell over there. But when they talk to her, they get bored. I give conversation and wonderful sex because I am so flexible and limber more than even skinny girls. Plus, you have to control. because you're 260 pounds. <laughs> 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 The big girl. You got no With choice. You ha you you have to give the guys what they want because you're not going to get them into the sack any other way. Um, unfortunately, that's what I used to think. Hey, dear, uh, dear, dear, stop, 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 stop. We're on the air, and you can't use obscenity on the air. Do you understand that? All right, we're not going to take any chances with that. <laughs> She's insane. Unbelievable. 260 pounds. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. And these these men always looking at the blonde bombshell. Instead of me. I don't think it's the fact that you're Mexican, dear. I think it's the fact that you're huge. You're ginormous. 260 pounds. Yeah, these guys all like those skinny little things. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Ron on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ron. Nice to talk to you, Professor. I know. <laughs> that last one got me laughing so hard, I almost forgot what I was going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps moving. Remember, she said she knows how to move. She doesn't stop moving when she stops. <laughs> it's just like a big bowl of jello, it sounds like. Well, she knows how to move the way if you took a basketball, put it at the top of a hill and started rolling it. Gee. A basketball knows how to move, too. <laughs> yes, it does. It's called gravity. Okay, anyway, uh, we were talking about traveling, uh, women who put ads on the... On there about, yeah, love like to travel. travel. Love to travel. That's what they say, love yeah. to travel. Right. Well, another point I'd like to make is once you're there, then you become the walking wallet. Well, of course you do. You know, you go to Paris. I love to travel. It's not, you can't just figure in the plane ticket. You got to figure in the five star hotel and all the bistros and all the shopping on the Champs Elysees. You know what would be fun to do, though? Uh, not well, that I'd. Not I, of course, I wouldn't recommend you do this, <clears throat> but um, what would be fun would be to sell some shit. Oh, sure, I'll take you to Paris. You get her there, you nail her for a night, and then you uh, bolt to another hotel. Don't tell her where you went. <laughs> Say it. That way she definitely has to pay her way home, and you got laid, and she paid half. That's a great one. We'll have to put that in the, uh, in the appendix <laughs> of the textbook. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I'm a big advocate of uh, taking these broads who expect you to pay for everything, taking them somewhere, and then leaving them there. Fantastic. You know, let's go to Vegas. More thing, let's go to Vegas for the weekend. <laughs> the the, the uh, aforementioned uh, previous caller, she probably has an ad online that says Ruben-esque figure. <laughs> I love that one. Yes, which means fat. 
It means BBW also. That's no, B B U W. Big <laughs> ugly woman. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here's Isaac on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello, hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Isaac. Yeah, I just want to talk to you about uh, these uh, as these women be putting on. Um, just a couple of months ago, my uh, little sister she uh, got me in, uh, got me into that thing called uh, MySpace. Yeah. And um, I was just checking it out, you know, and uh, I, all I saw, you know, is uh, women, young women, older women, you know, and putting the profiles, guys too, you know, putting the profiles, the pic, the pictures of them. Their height, their, uh, their their religious, all types of things, you know. And, and I, I mean, what you call it? I was checking it out, and um, I was telling my little sister, you know, why you got your stuff right here, you know? You don't know what, what what's going on, you know, behind uh, somebody else's computer, you know? There might be some some old old pervert, you know, uh, what you call it, masturbating behind that, you know? And she was like, well, you know, it's it's the best way to communicate this and that, you know. And um, I, I just didn't like that, you know. I told her to take that off. And uh, in the meantime, when I was checking this out, you know, uh, a few years back, I was in a relationship for about three years with this woman that... Uh, Wait a minute. Big Fat Alice just called back and said, she's from El Salvador. Don't ever call her Mexican again. I just wanted to get that in. I thought she said she was Mexican. Yeah, okay. Now, nope. El Salvador can claim credit for her. <laughs> I was in this relationship with this woman, and um, we kind of, I don't know, I was just curious, you know, to check, check her out. It's been like three years, I guess. She had this, I raised this child with her. It was, it's not my child, it's my step, my ex stepson. And so um, I was checking out the computer, and I, I saw her profile. And at the same time, I see my ex stepchild profile right there too. You know, your it's ex a, stepchild. Yeah, you know. I, I mean, I raised the kid for like about five years. Was that a smart thing to do, Isaac? Ah, uh, nah, I don't. I don't think so. You know. You wanted to get laid so badly, you were like willing to raise somebody else's kid. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was just lost at that time, man. I mean, I, I was just, I was a wreck, you know. And it's like, like three years ago, I just, I don't know, I just. Just, just what you kind of walked up, and I said to myself, you know, I don't deserve this, you know. So I, I passed out, and we kind of, uh, I got my stuff together, and you know, now I'm, I'm successful. I got my cars and everything, and I mean, like I said, you know, I check, check the computer out, and I see this woman, you know, still looking for, for a man, you know, and and we kind of uh, putting a child on the profile. I, I think that's not right, you know. She even put his age, is uh, we kind of uh, what he likes, what he likes to eat, and I'm, I'm like. That's good. Looking at this, um, yeah, that's good. Advertise to all the predators out there. That's very nice. My ex stepchild, I found him on MySpace. Unbelievable. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hi to JC on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how, how you doing, buddy? Doing great. Great, great. And by the way, that other uh, girl who called. She felt like she was a man. I was kind of scared. I'm like, that ain't no woman. That felt like a man. <laughs> well, she's bigger than most of the men out there. I, yeah, I was going to say, good God. Get her, get her, get her, get her wow. Her hey. But, uh, hey, listen, the reason I'm calling is... Um, you know, El Salvador is generally known for coffee, cocoa. I didn't know they're also known <laughs> for meat. And mules. And mules. <laughs> a cow's. Yeah, but hey, going back to the dating thing, a while back, a buddy of mine, he was married, so he used to use my profile. He used my picture, and he would talk to all these single women. So he's on JC, dude, you got to go out with these girls. I hooked you up. So it, it is a supplement, absolutely. I would I would spend no less than 40 bucks on these girls, happy hour. They would always complain, why don't you take them to dinner? Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, nah, don't have time, babe. Yeah, that's the way to do it. You always want to avoid that dinner if you can. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.